Hi guys, welcome back to another video of CDB and today I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between DX11 or DirectX11 and DX12 or DirectX12. Now, uh, what it is, is basically a setting that is on Fortnite that a lot of people don't actually know which one to pick and I'm going to be going through what my PC runs with DX11 and DX12 and I'm going to say what you guys should run depending on your your specs or hardware. I don't think you can choose between DX11 or 12 for console. Please tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe you can. So obviously, if you guys are on console, you might not want to watch this, but if you're getting a PC soon and want to know what to use, then might as well just keep watching. But guys, before I go into depth on DX11 and stuff, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment because I think only like 2% of you guys are subscribed to one or 2%. And obviously, I want that numbers up by the end of 2020. I'm trying, I'm trying to aim for at least 20%, guys. So please like and sub. Yeah, enjoy the video. Yeah. All right, guys. So the first thing you guys want to do is understand your hardware. What kind of specs do you have on your computer? Like personally, at the moment, I have an i9 10900K and a 1070. Now, before the UPC nerd says bottlenecked, I know. Just put the PC in, I'm waiting on my 3080. So stop crying in the comments. Alright? Alright, but yeah. So understand, if you have really, really good specs, like obviously the 30 series or a 2070 Super or, or a 2080, whatever, then probably use DX12. Obviously, if you don't want to use DX12, then fair enough. But I'll probably use DX12. Now, if I go use DX12 now, it'll probably be worse than DX11 because I have a 107. My system is bottlenecked as I have a much faster CPU than GPU. I'm not going to get into that stuff though because I'm not educated enough on it. But yeah, just understand that good specs, probably DX12. Bad specs, probably DX11. But we'll just give it a try anyway. So, what DX12 or 11 does is it gives you better FPS depending on your system. So that's why... I Obviously, you got you wondering about your system. Now, I will show you what what mine is now. So I'm going to show DX11 first, then I'm going to show DX12, and uh, then you, my FPS count will be in the corner for everyone wondering. And uh, yeah, okay. So this is my game on DX11. Uh, if I look at this guy, I get around 400, 350 to 400 FPS, and I'm currently on. 9 10 input delay now bearing in mind i'm recording so obviously my input delay will be higher and my fps will be higher but that's it for now that's dx11 i'll do so i'll crank a bit for you so you guys can see Right, so this is with DX12. Uh, I'm getting about 350 FPS with a uh, with uh, 10 milliseconds input delay, but I don't know. I don't know if it feels a bit smoother. Oh, I forgot I didn't start the game. <laughs> oh, hold on, let's get let's get rid of this then. Then we could start the game at least. Then we'll maybe we'll be able to see if there's any better input delay. Like. There we go. So yeah, 300, yeah, about 350 FPS with 10 milliseconds input delay. So obviously that's worse than DX11. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. I feel like... Obviously, DX11 is a lot less stable, and if you have a worse graphics card, then it would worsen, considering at the moment I have a 1070 in. So... I'm kind of understanding why it's not a big difference. But yeah, I'm up to 12 input delay just then. Yeah. Damn. All right, then. That's a shame. Because I thought, I thought the X12 would be better. But I still think you guys should try this out. Because if you have a better graphics card than me, then you then you'll probably it might benefit you more than me. Obviously, it's doesn't benefit me whatsoever so i'll be sticking the dx11 until i get my new graphics card but yeah all right so yeah i'm gonna be sticking with dx11 obviously because i get more fps out of it and i don't know if that is just while i'm editing this but there was a lot of lag on the other recording so um yeah it just shows that obviously for me recording streaming and that is better for me on dx11 but obviously, if you get more FPS and it's better in general on DX12, make sure you use that. Bear in mind, DX12 is a lot more unstable than DX11, so you might experience a lot more crashes. That is just, um, I guess it's just Fortnite not optimizing it properly, um, which is a bit dumb. But yeah. So guys, hope you guys really did enjoy this. Uh, I sure may enjoy doing this and... I never, I haven't used DX12 in a couple of, I'd say almost a year, I haven't tried DX12, but now it's out uh, properly and apparently it's a lot less unstable, uh, I thought I'd give it a try, it's still worse for me, so I'm going to keep it to DX11, but yeah, put down in the comments if you guys are better, if you guys are better off than DX12, I'd love to know, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, have a brilliant day, goodbye, goodbye guys, hmm.